Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of GTA 3 The Definitive Edition. Wait, what are these NPCs doing over here? Um, so on this part, we're going to be continuing from where we left off, and we're going to be doing um, Ray's final mission, helping him escape. And then we're also going to go to Shoreside Vale, and we're going to do all of the ICE's missions. So let's, uh, let's do that right now. I'm sorry to delay the, um, the start always usually by, like, around 30 seconds, but, like, YouTube, when they detect, like, curse words within the thir first 30 seconds, it can mess up the, um, you monetization. Good. This is it. I'm way over my head, and I'm starting to drown here. The CIA seems to have a vested interest in Spank, and they don't like us screwing with the cartel. I'm a mock man, so I'm getting out of here. Get me to my fight at the airport, and I'll make it worth your while. So this is Ray's final mission. Um, the CIA have the bridge under surveillance. Find another route across. Okay, so in the um, uh, in the three D universe, they were actually called the um, the CIA. Where in um, uh, the HD universe, they're called the IA. Okay, so we need to get Ray quickly over there. I should have brought. I, this is my mistake. I should have had a car ready for this. Um, but um, uh, basically, um, oh, oh, Banshee, perfect. This will be perfect to get Ray out of here. So, the reason that the CIA want Ray dead, and here's the thing, the CIA doesn't want to arrest Ray, they want him dead. Um, uh, and, um, uh, the best way to go about doing this is to actually go through the, um, uh, the subway system. That's the best way to get Ray out of there, because if you actually go across the bridge, they're gonna blow you up really quickly. The CIA are actually, um, pr pr uh, they have closed down the bridge and they have M16s all over it, and the M16 is like a minigun in GTA 3. So now the reason, why does the CIA want Ray dead? The reason they want him dead is because, remember that mission where um, you sent, um, uh, Ray sent Claude over in order to help, um, uh, help uh, Phil Cassidy defend his um, gun running business from the Colombian cartel that were trying to move in on him. So Ray had caused the Colombian cartel a setback by doing that. And the Colombian cartel are the primary people who are distributing, um, they're distributing Spank in Liberty City. Spank, again, this is GTA's parody of crack cocaine. And so, um, this is all based on a conspiracy theory. Uh, which, which, uh, which side am I gonna be going on? Um, okay, is it this side? Uh, no, it's the other one, okay. So this is based on the conspiracy theory that in the... In the 1980s and the 1990s, that the CIA was heavily involved in the um, uh, cocaine uh, trade. It's never been fully proven, but there's a lot of conspiracies regarding this. And this is exactly where the character of Torino was um, uh, created. Torino in San Andreas, he was made on based on a conspiracy theory. Because there's a lot of conspiracies that the CIA was involved in um, selling uh, cocaine. Now, why would the CIA be involved uh, with trafficking and selling cocaine? The reason is is because they would be a they would get a lot of cash really quickly from that cash that they could use for their secret operations and so they wouldn't need to go through the federal government in order to get that cash because then they would be um the federal government would basically have a registry of where all the cash is going and what the cia is using it for if they have plenty of this illegal cash lying around nobody even knows what they're doing with it even the um the federal government so that's where a lot of the conspiracies actually come from Okay, so here we go, um, kind of weird, it kept telling me to go there, but I just went through the subway, oh. Here's the kid in the lockup. You'll find some cash and some supplies I stashed in case things got tight. See you around. Now, Ray, um, uh, Ray is flying to Miami, but, um, uh, the reason it's, it was called Miami then is because, um, uh, that was gonna be Rockstar's next, uh, map. But the thing is, though, is that the concept of Vice City was not created yet, even though they wanted to do Miami. Um, yeah, probably best not to go on the bridge. So you see right there, the CIA are already, yeah, they're, they're even on top of the tunnels there. So, um, yeah, let's get out of here. We're gonna go and pick up Ray's car. But, um, yeah, a, a lot of, um, the, while the cocaine conspiracies have never been, like, you know, proven, um, you know, there's a lot of speculation regarding that. And, um, the CIA did some really bad things during the Cold War. They, they did some really bad operations, um, some really horrible things. 
and they supported some really evil dictators. There were some really evil dictators that the CIA had actually supported during the Cold War. So, um, uh, I mean, I guess it's believable that they would be involved in the, um, uh, in the cocaine uh, trade. But that's, you know, that's why whenever you see, like, CIA agents and, like, drugs in the GTA games, just know that that's where it comes from. That's, you know, Rockstar's just, you know, was it kind of inspired by the conspiracy theories. That's why they have that. I'll probably do a video on this and, like, explaining why, um, uh, why they want to take down Ray. But now you're probably wondering, um... If the CIA wanted to kill um, Ray because he disrupted the Colombian cartel's activities, why aren't they going after the Yakuza, for instance? Because the Yakuza are at war with the Colombian cartel, so they're causing them way more problems than Ray. Why target Ray specifically? The reason? Because Ray and Phil both served in Nicaragua. Now, officially the US was not involved in Nicaragua, but there was a civil war going on there. The CIA, on the other hand, was involved in covert operations. And so Ray and Phil both served in Nicaragua, and they probably saw some secret things. Both of them probably know about some secret operations, and that's why they were at the top of the CIA's um, a list. And then when the CIA, um, when, when Ray disrupted the cartel from stopping Phil, they went after him and made him their next target. So that's just a little bit of backstory um, behind that mission. A lot of people, they don't, they, you know, they just play that mission, they don't really understand the story behind it, like why the CIA is chasing Ray or, you know, all of that stuff, but... You know, I thought I would just explain that for people that don't know what's going on. Now, um, uh, Ray actually tells you to go to this lockup, and he tells you he'll give you a reward there. And when I was doing this the very first time as a kid, I actually thought that this was going to be a trap. Like, I literally thought that, that Ray was going to screw you over, that this is going to be um, a trap, but it's actually not. Take care of my bulletproof... Patriot. See you in Miami, Ray. So now, this thing that Ray gives you, this, um, uh, oh, there's some more guns back here too, I didn't pick these up. This is a bulletproof, um, Patriot, just like Ray says. This vehicle is going to be very helpful for later on when we have to do one of Asuka's missions. So right now, we're just going to put this in our garage and just hold it there. But, I'll tell you something. Grove Street Games kind of really messed up with that pager. Because, since like, you know, Vice City is officially Miami in the, H in the 3D universe, what they should have done is they should have replaced Ray's message, and it should have said, see you in Vice City instead of seeing you in uh, Miami. That They should have really changed that. Because again, this is before they made the um, uh, the the name Vice City. This is before they came up with that. So it would have been nice if they had that in the in the definitive edition, where Ray would have actually said, "See you in Vice City, not Miami." But anyways, let's go to a Shoreside Vale right now. So here, once you get the Shoreside Veil, you unlock um, D Ice's missions. Yo, this is D Ice of the Red Jacks. I got a problem. They trying to play me. These young punks, they come onto the streets and they got nothing but guns and spank on their minds. Nines is their tags and purple is their flag. And each day they rock their colors is another day the Jacks look soft. I want you to show these punk ass bitches how a real drive-by works. Take these nines off of here. Watch your back though. There'll be jacks on the street who think you're trying to blast them too. Get a vehicle, remember Uzi, oh, only Uzi kills count. Okay, so the purple nines are the, um, uh, the rival, the red jacks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I wasn't even trying to, um... So, the, yeah, the Red Jacks can turn hostile to you really quickly, too. Hello, I am Fernando Martinez, founder of Fernando Martinez, a revolutionary new way of saving your marriage. We understand how two kids in a mortgage can take the passion out of your life. With our three-step program, your readers... There we go. ...has guaranteed. 
Okay, 13 more kills. It's a pretty right, simple still. mission. I've got three kids, two cars, and a mortgage. My love life is going stale. Even before my wife's car accident. Then I go on new beginning. Thanks to Fernando, I'm still married. But on Wednesday afternoons, I meet Barbara at the motel by the church. See? The passion she's back. Feels yeah, I should probably get a new car soon and here. Kids will have a daddy to look up. Car moving. It's good that they give you unlimited Uzi ammo on this mission, that's nice at least. Okay, and yeah, the, the, the red, um, the purple, um, they, uh, Purple Jacks, um, uh, they wear, um, uh, the, oh, great. They wear the exact same, um, jacket as the, um, as the Red Jacks. Uh, the only difference is theirs is purple, obviously. Okay, one more. There we go. Oh, this mission's pretty easy. Those nines are pressing me. These bitches got armored cars and now they're running spank and slinging it to brothers with no fear. There's a car parked up the way. There's some stuff in there to put these sissies on blast and wreck all their armored stuff. Uh, okay. Basically, gotta get over there. Um, and I'll tell you something. In um, in Liberty City stories, there's a mission where this neighborhood is actually controlled by the Ferellis, and so Salvatore just tells Tony to just go and um pick up some hoods and just kill the Ferellis, and it never really made much sense why the um the hoods just allied with the Leones all of a sudden. It was just like a weird mission, but. Okay, this mission is easy. Okay, uh, we just have to, um, just detonate the, um, the vehicles. At least what's nice about this is that, um, now we can see with GPS where these vehicles okay, actually Okay, here we are. got one of the vans. So this mission isn't difficult at all. Just drive up to them with the RC car and just blow them up. Oh, the other one's right here. Easy. Would you like a kitten? Have one delivered. Just log on to petsovernight.com. Cute kitten overnight. Okay, I'm gonna have to go up. Um, Less annoying, a better... and um, what I'll say is that I actually don't like Sorshide Vale as an island. Um, not trying to hate on the map, but the reason I don't like the third and final island you unlock in GTA 3 is because of all these hills just going up and down, up and down, and there's like one way streets going like down all the way and so doing like paramedic missions or firefighter missions is like a nightmare on this like uh on this island because you with the with the interactive map you get a better idea of where you have to go but before that it was just horrible because you have to try to estimate where you would drive and you drive to one area and then you realize that you got to go all the way down or you got to go up so it was just a bit frustrating with this island and this is supposed to be based on, like, um, uh, it's supposed to be based on Queens, I'm assuming, because 
because uh, Shoreside Vale um, has Francis International Airport, which in GTA 4, that's based on JFK Airport, which that would be in Queens. But the thing is, Queens does not have, like, really terrain like this. And it doesn't have, like, um, it doesn't have a dam for s certain. So I don't know what they were trying to go for with this. Portland is, I guess that's supposed to be New Jersey. Got it. Oh no, this mission. This is his worst mission. Some effort is why my wheels to blow. If I lose those wheels, my rep on the street will be dead. Pick up my car and take it over to the garage on St. Mark's, all right, yo? Let them defuse that. Let them take care of that bomb. The clock's ticking and the wiring is messed up. One pothole too many and that thing could blow. Now move it. I like how even though Claude's speaking on the payphone, there's already a phone in the one that he's talking in. Where did the extra phone come from? So, um, what's frustrating about this mission is you have to take D-Ice's car and just drive all the way across the map and his car is a bomb in it. Get to the garage, but watch out if the car takes too much damage, it will blow. So we have to get it all the way over there. Oh, man. The car is very sensitive. Screw it, we'll take the tunnels. Man, this mission just always made me paranoid. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We have to be careful for cars turning into us here. Get out of the way. Oh my god, these NPCs. What are they doing right now? Yeah, I probably should have taken the bridge. It probably was a ton mistake taking the tunnel. Oh no. Oh no, we already took some damage there too. Yeah, I'm taking the bridge going back. I'm not going back this way. Oh no, we have to drive close. This is... Oh no, this is in St. Mark's. Oh god, I forgot about this. Oh no. No, no, please, no shotguns. The reason St. Mark's is so bad is because of the shotguns. God, please, please, no, please, no. I'm getting this car out of here. 
my god, I didn't get shot by any shotguns. Maybe they, they disabled the Leonis on this mission. I don't know. Now we just have to get it back in perfect condition with no damage. Uh, so this shouldn't be too bad now. That bridge is definitely going to be much easier. Okay, I know I'm not talking much, guys. I'm just really focusing on not crashing the car here. Gotta be careful here. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, that mission was a bit stressful, but we got it. Yeah, now I remember this mission too. Um, okay, we're gonna take the the Colombian cartel's cruiser. Head to the location where the cargo is scattered. So bullion, um, uh, bullion. That's like somebody correct me if I'm wrong. It's like silver. It's like is it a form of silver? Regardless, it's heavy. Um, it's valuable. Um, a metal. It's also, I know, in GTA Online, um, you can get in the cargo warehouses sometimes.
commercial radio at its best and proud of it. Lips ah. 106. Your attention, please. Read our lips. Man, look at this right now here. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when the vehicle gets heavy, uh. Yep. Well, there's definitely a lot of bullying to snatch. I don't remember how much we have to steal. Uh, I don't think you have to steal everything. Oh. We need wheels. And the car really gets slowed down, too. Oh. I thought I had to leave the car here, but it turns out I don't. It's surprising that there's no cops in after you in this mission. That's really surprising. Never mind, I spoke too soon. Great, I just gave myself two stars now. Beautiful. It seems I back up faster than I go forward. Ah, come on. At least we lost a wanted level doing that. Cop just flipped himself over there too. So when you collect a certain amount of bully and I see the cops go after you when you collect a certain amount. And then every time you deliver it to the garage, it resets the one level, okay. Oh, there we go, it just ended. Okay, never mind then. I Looks like what, we need to collect 25 then? We got paid pretty good for that mission. This is D-Ice's final mission. This mission I kind of don't like. To a few scabby herds, but they still want to bring it. They agreed to go toe to toe. A gang of them against two of us, or rather, two of y'all. I join you, but I ain't due for my parole here for another three months, know what I mean? Go and meet my baby brother. He'll show you where they're fighting at, alright, son? Wow, what a coward. He's gonna send his younger brother instead of going, oh, my parole hearing. Okay, go pick up D-Ice's brother now. And D-Ice's brother can actually die in this mission, and there's not really any um, consequence for it. Yo, I said you was coming. There are rules. Fats only. No guns, no cars. This is a battle for respect. You cool? Let's go crack some skulls. So you guys are gonna see why I don't like this mission. So this is like one of those roads I told you about that are like dead ends in Shoreside Vale that don't go anywhere. There is one mission here, I guess, so it does go somewhere. You have to fight all these guys with bats. Yeah, so you see, this is, um... Yeah, and D-Ice's brother is already dead. This is, this is just... Okay, we took out a lot of them already, um, but... Okay, that's, that's one way to do it. 
there we go. That's that's so that's one way to do it definitely. But you have to time it right, and if you time it right, um, you can get all of them like that at once. Yeah, the ice's brother didn't make it, but um, the ice probably doesn't care. Um, so I guess you know that's that's that. There is a mission here, but it's like a um, like just a checkpoint mission with that patriot there. But um, uh, thank you guys for watching. I guess we'll leave it off here. On, on the next part, we will be doing Asuka's missions. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.